Hello and welcome to another episode of Glorious Glow Empowerment Podcast. It is the last day of Mental Health Awareness Week, Sunday the 24th of May. I will be releasing two episodes today just to make up for the day I missed on Monday and to give you a bonus actually. So thanks to everyone who has followed me so far. Take care. God bless you as you listen on. I'm reading from a section of my book titled Statistical Evidence About Mental Health in Children. So far, I have mainly looked at mental health issues affecting adults and later teens. However, we also need to be aware that some statistical evidence seems to show and some specialists feel that societal, educational and familial pressures seem to be placing increased pressure on younger teens and in fact children in general. Comparing statistics can be unreliable as changes in in interpretation or methodology or diagnostic criteria, etc., can change over time or between countries. But what we do appear to see is a general pattern of increasing reporting of children with symptoms of affective disorders, especially depression and anxiety, along with a steady stream of cases where children exhibit ADHD, that's hyperactivity, body image issues like bulimia, anorexia, and even more seriously, self-harm plus suicide attempts, some of which end in tragedy. Here's what the UK charity, the Children's Society, published in 2018. 25% of people in the UK will experience a mental health issue at some point in their life. This includes depression, drugs, alcohol or gambling addiction, severe anxiety, AHDH and PTSD. 10% of school children have a mental health condition. It is important to note that the brain is still developing at this time and if the child does not get treatment or support, their problems will get worse and in some cases become a lifelong issue. 75% of mental health problems are created by the time someone is 18. This relates to the previous point. If children and young people do not get the support they need at this young age, society is allowing their problems to worsen. When you see adults with mental health problems who are homeless or in prison or in institutions or getting care in the community, they might have been saved as children with the right interventions. Parents must not feel that mental health issues in their children are their entire fault as that will worsen the situation in the family and inhibit the child's recovery. A happy child with happy loving parents can still become mentally ill. However, love, time, praise and empathy are protective factors against many forms of mental illness. Thank you once again for joining me on this episode. As can be observed, early diagnosis, treatment, love, care, compassion, kindness will go a long way in supporting anyone with a mental illness. From now on, show some love, be kind to one another. Take care. God bless you.